the sky, the soul, the pole. I got it. How you gon' survive if I leave full of hoes? Huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys. Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G. G the heart, the sky, the soul. Peace, peace, y'all. We're shaking with it, man. You already know how it's going down. You know what it is, and you know who it is, man. It's your dog, your main man, Hood, and all that. And you are now locked in with me yet again on another episode of Hip Hop with Hood, where we discuss everything hip hop. All right, let's get right into it. Ever since Billboard and Vibe Magazine released their top 50 greatest rappers of all time list, it's been a lot of chatter surrounding the topic, right? A lot of people was bent out of shape about the fact that they named Jay Z the greatest rapper of all time, and they've been letting it be known. A lot of older rappers have been doing interviews, throwing shade at Hove. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to hold you up. We all know that uh, 50 has been throwing little jabs at Jay-Z for the longest. You feel what I'm saying? Whether it's from a friendly and competitive space or whatever the case be, he's been throwing jabs, like, forever. You know what I'm saying? And um, recently, he did two interviews. One interview was with a person, I can't recall who it was, but he said that... Uh, Eminem had a greater impact on hip hop than Jay Z. Now, on the more recent interview he did with um, a guy by the name of Ari something, I forgot his last name. He's like a, a news broadcaster from MSNBC, but he's a real lover of hip hop. He show love to hip hop artists like regularly. But on the interview he did with with him, he said that Future was a bigger artist in the streets than Jay Z. Now, I don't even know why this is still a topic. It's so like two years ago. Who cares who's bigger than who in the streets? The the more important question should be who's bigger than who in the bank. You feel what I'm saying? Like Jay Z isn't musically active right now for him to be bigger than a future in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Future releases music more regularly than Jay Z does. If Jay Z was to drop an album right now, he could change people's thoughts on who's bigger than who in the streets with the you know, with the snap of a damn finger. It's nothing. Um, so like I said, I don't even know why that's even still a topic. Um, but anyway, another artist that spoke on him, and now I have to put this out here before I even speak on this artist. I love Goody Mob. I grew up off of Goody Mob. You can't tell me nothing about the mob, you know what I'm saying? And not the not Mob Deep, but Goody Mob. You feel me? Um, but Big Gip, it sounded like he was throwing shade at hole too, man. He did an interview with Art of Dialogue recently. Now, in these clips that Art of Dialogue have been releasing, he's been using Jay Z's name in the um the captions, right? Or in the titles. Uh Big Gip said that Pac is a better rapper than Jay Z, which I agree with him on. I said Pac is the greatest rapper of all time. Like I always say that. And I've been saying that. But um, you know, the things that he been saying though, he like, yo, if Pac was still alive, Pac would have had Beyonce, you know what I mean, and Jay Z wouldn't have had her and um what else he said? Andre 3000 is a better rapper than Jay-Z. Now, look, I love Three Stacks. You know what I'm saying? But come on, let's let's be real. Like, on a solo artist level, he can't compare to Jay-Z. He doesn't have enough material as a solo artist. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if we're talking about a group compared to one artist, that's something else. But that that is, that is, that isn't, excuse me, that isn't even fair. We can't take nothing from OutKast because OutKast is the number two rap group of all time than me, but we're talking about solo artists. We can't just, like, dog hove out like that and try to discredit him. You feel what I'm saying? Because he's the epitome of what an artist would aspire to be. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we got to keep it a wreck. So it's just crazy, you know, that everyone is, like, somewhat throwing shade at Hove and showing, like, closet jealousy towards him. In my eyes, that's what it seems like anyway, because they aren't the only two artists that have had something to say about him recently you know what i'm saying but it's crazy that's what happens when you're in the position that hove is in and only a few would be able to to really like decipher what's going on and um and look at things realistically but i want to know what you guys think about this drop a comment in the comment section below make sure you like this video and make sure that you download or stream my brand new single entitled no matter featuring sorry the kid man the link for that is in the description box below all right I reminisce. Yeah. We was outside on the curb with our niggas. Back when respect was morally earned, but not given for you.